Boyny, do you know what today is? Uh, my last off day before I have to work tomorrow? No, Boyny, today's your daughter's birthday! No, it's not. Didn't she just have a birthday? Ow! That was a year ago, Boyny! What? There's no way it's her birthday. Hey, Dad, what are we doing for my birthday today? Oh my god, you were serious. Uh, you know, like, like birthday stuff? Oh my god, you forgot it was my birthday, didn't you? No, 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 I didn't forget. I, I never forget your birthday. Then where's my birthday cake? Uh, I, I, I have, I have it. I definitely have it. It's, it's in the fridge over there. Just, um, give me like 15 minutes to 20 with traffic. <sighs> okay, here's your cake. God, I hate Walmart now. It's all self-checkout. You know, I already have enough jobs. I shouldn't have to check out my own groceries. And then when you go to leave, there's somebody there to check your receipt. Like, yeah, I'm going to steal a $10 cake. They hire somebody to check your receipt, but not to check you out. That makes a lot of damn sense. Uh, not that this has anything to do with your cake, because I got that out of the fridge. But what took so long was there was a train in, in front of the fridge, a 180 car train. And also I had to decorate it. So there's that. Happy birth pen lobby? Uh, yeah, I, I ran out of room. Dad, that's not how you spell my name! Dad, d d don't worry about it. Just look how pretty your cake is. Dad, how old am I? Uh, d I, y y you know, Penelope, it's rude to ask a lady your age. But I'm not asking a lady, I'm asking my dad my age. Uh, well, just count the number of candles. That's how old you are. There's ten. You think I'm ten? Uh, I think you're a ten out of ten daughter. <laughs> I can't believe you forgot my age, Dad! I, 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 didn't, I didn't forget your How old do you feel? I mean, that's really what matters. Uh, hey, look, let's just sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Pat Loppy! Happy birthday to you! Okay, blow out your candles. Make a wish. I wish my dad wouldn't lie for a whole day. <sighs> okay, well, that was a stupid wish. I mean, you know I'm a liar. I bought this cake from Walmart because I obviously forgot your birthday. I, I, I don't know why I just said that. Um, Did you get me any presents, Dad? No, I'm a cheapskate. You know I don't get your presents. Your cake is your present. Eat it. What, why am I saying these things? What is wrong with me? Why would I say those things? Boyny, how can you say those mean things to your daughter? I, I don't know. I mean, they were true, but I just felt like I couldn't lie. Boyny, maybe you're just stressed out. Do you want to fool around? No, I'm not attracted to you. <gasps> I, I, I mean, I close my eyes and think about other people. Like last night, I thought about you being the girl in the Taco Bell drive-thru, and she really wasn't even that attractive. She was just more attractive than you. I, 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 uh, I, you know what? I, I'm actually going to go to work early. I, I, and that, that's the truth. I'm, I'm going to go do doctor things. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Doctor, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to work tonight. Yeah, I just didn't want to have sex with my wife, so I thought I'd come here and get some overtime hours. Mm. Uh, hey, Luke, how you doing? <sighs> how is he? He's not going to make it past tomorrow. I don't know. Hey, doctor. Will I live to see my birthday? Mm, when's your birthday? In two days. No, nope, no, you're going to die tomorrow. Doctor, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I just can't lie. Doctor, is my son gonna be okay? No, but you have huge boobs and I really want to squeeze them. Doctor, get out of here! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right, I'm sorry. Ma'am, we're doing everything we can to save your son. But your son's still gonna die, so can I please squeeze your boobs? Doctor! I'm gonna close my eyes and think about you when I'm making my wife tomorrow. Doctor, get out! Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What is wrong with me today? Why can't I lie? Doctor, what is the matter with you? That was so inappropriate back there. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, Nurse Jackie. I don't know what's going on with me. I just can't lie today. So you do want to grab that woman's breast? Duh, of course I want to grab them. They're huge. Did you see them? I want to grab them. I want to squeeze them, suck on them, motorboat them. Doctor, pull yourself together. You have to make it up to that kid back in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm a professional. I can do this. Uh, I'll dress up like Spider-Man. Kids love Spider-Man. Good thinking, Doctor. Hey, Luke, today you're going to have a special visitor. Is it someone with a cure for my cancer? Um, not exactly. Hey there, Luke, it's me, the doctor. Um, I think you meant, hey, Luke, look, it's me, Spider-Man. Nope, Spider-Man's not real. I'm the doctor and I'm dressed like this because you're going to die. Doctor! Oh, you're not the real Spider-Man. Nope, see, it's me, the doctor, and your mom has really big cans and I just love to squeeze them. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Okay, so for some reason I can't lie, so being a doctor's kind of hard, but being a cop should be easy, because cops are supposed to be honest, you know? Protect and serve and all that, so this shouldn't be too bad. What? Oh my god, that guy's going way too fast! I gotta pull that guy over! Hey there, sir. You know how fast you were going? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. See, my wife, she's in the hospital, and I'm trying to make it there. I don't believe you. Do you have any drugs in the car? Whoa! Why would you say something like that? It's because I'm black? Mm, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm racial profiling. I knew it! I'm sorry. You can go. I'm sorry. Have a nice day. No, I want to speak to your uh, police manager. 
Guy, did you racially profile a black man during a traffic stop? Yes, I did. I do it all the time. Guy, you're not supposed to be honest about it. What's wrong with you? I don't know, sir. I, I just can't lie for some reason. Well, you can't be a cop until you get that straightened out. Take some time off. I can't take some time off. I need the money. And I have a drinking problem, and I have to be able to afford my booze. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll try my lawyer job. Okay, so I read your case, and it says you're being accused of trying to kidnap a girl. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. That was me. I did that. Guilty as shit. Uh, I, I really wish you hadn't told me that. Well, I want you to get me off, and then I want you to win the case. Wait, so you want me to lie? Yes, do your job! Uh, okay, I, I will do my best. All right. Order, 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 order. Mr. Screwball. Here. I wasn't calling attendance. I'm sorry. You are being accused of trying to kidnap a child. How do you plead? Not guilty. Hmm. Seems very believable. I suppose I'll have to ask the victim, Jenny Wobbleknees. Jenny Wobbleknees. Did this clown try to kidnap you? Yes, that's the mean clown that tried to kidnap me! Well, I can't believe you. You're a child, and your knees are quite wobbly. I suppose I have no choice but to declare Mr. Screwball innocent. But first, I will ask your attorney. Do you think Screwball is guilty? Uh, yeah. You do know that if you say not guilty, I will find him innocent and you will win this case. No, yeah, I know that, but, like, I know he's guilty. I mean, he told me he did it, so I know he's guilty. What are you doing? You're supposed to lie. Excuse me? What? what? Yeah, yeah, I think he's guilty. He's really guilty. Okay, then. Well, I suppose I find Screwball guilty. I sentence you to a year in prison. You're the worst lawyer ever! You're supposed to lie! Yeah, yeah, I know. I just, I can't lie today for some reason. But, I mean, you do deserve to be in jail. You are a terrible person. Okay, I'm gonna try my firefighting job because there's no reason why not being able to lie should be a problem here. Hey, mate, there's a house on fire! We gotta go, quick! Okay, okay, let's go, let's go! Someone, please, help! Don't worry, ma'am, we're here. My house is on fire! Oh, my God. That, that is an inferno. My son is in there! I can't lose both my sons in one day! Oh, it's you, booby lady! I wanna squeeze them. No, go save my son! Uh, no, I don't wanna do that. What? Why? Cause I'm scared. I, I don't wanna die. Y your sons are dead. Um... Okay, there is no reason that I would need to lie as a pizza delivery man. All I do is hand them the pizza and they hand me the money. It's that easy. I can do this. Ah, Daddy, I can't see you. I'm blind. Oh, there you are, Daddy. <sighs> Marvin, where's that pizza we ordered? I'm starving. It'll be here any minute, baby. Mm. Pizza, pizza. There's someone at the door. That must be the pizza. Hello? Hey, I got your pizza. I scratched my balls and picked a few pepperonis off and ate them on the way over here, but they were still pretty good. That'll be 20 bucks. Uh, here's $20. Um, no tip? No, I don't have anything for tip. Is that okay? No, no, I'm, I'm actually pretty pissed off about that. I, I have a family to feed, I have a drinking problem, I'm not sexually attracted to my wife anymore, and I let two kids die today, so it's been pretty rough, honestly. Well, do you want to come inside and eat some pizza? Yes, yes, I would like that very much. Thank you. All right, you can put the pizza right there. Marvin, what is the pizza man doing here? He was really sad, so I offered him some pizza. We don't have enough pizza to share. Jeffy eats half a pizza just for himself. That's right, Mommy. I'm a growing boy. Oh, don't worry. I already scratched my balls and had a few pepperonis. Ew. I'll show you which pieces. It was this one and this one. Oh, and over here, I, I tried one of the pepperonis, and it was too chewy, so I spit it back out onto the pizza. Nope, no, nope, I'm good. I don't want any. No, it's okay. I washed my balls. I, I'm sorry if I'm being overly honest. I just can't lie today. But you can't lie? No. No, I've been trying all day and I just can't lie for some reason. You can't tell a single lie. No, nothing. You gotta be able to lie. Look, grab that pen right there. What, uh, this one? Yeah, yeah, say that pen is red. Uh, okay. This pen is... Okay, uh, this pen is... Okay. The pen that I hold in my hand is royal blue. The goddamn pen is blue. Oh, God, I can't lie. When did this start happening? I don't know. It was like earlier today, and it was my daughter's birthday. And... 
Oh my god, that's it. My daughter wished for her birthday that I couldn't lie for a whole day! So, I mean, I guess I could probably just wait till tomorrow and then start lying my ass off. But I want to lie now! Well, how can you reverse it? Um, oh, I know. I'll, I'll get my daughter over here and then get her a new birthday cake, and then whenever she blows out the candle, she can wish for me to lie again. Okay, I'll call her right now. Dad, you called me here to this random person's house? Yeah, Penelope, I got you another birthday cake. Why? Uh, well, your wish came true and it's ruining my life. Wish? What wish? Well, you wished that I could couldn't lie for a whole day, and now I can't. You can't lie? This is the best day ever! Have you been saving up for my college? No, I spend the money on stuff I want. Okay, well, do you love me? Mmm, kind of. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes I regret having you because you remind me so much of your mother. But hey, uh, don't worry about that. Just blow out your candles. Make another wish. I need for you to wish that I can lie. Why would I want you to start lying? Well, Penelope, I need to do it for my jobs, okay? It comes in handy way more than you think. Ugh, fine. I wish my dad would start lying again. <sighs> okay, okay, good, 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 good. Let me try it out. Let me try it out. This pen is... What the hell, Penelope? Well, I said it, but I didn't mean it. That's gay! Well, come on, come on! Here, okay, you know what? I'm gonna light it again. Light it. Light this candle again, and I need you to blow it out, and this time, I need you to mean it, okay? Okay, I wish my dad could lie again. Okay, okay, okay. This pen is re- Oh, come on, Penelope! You got three and a half hours left in the day, Dad. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm just gonna go to bed for the rest of the day, and I'm gonna lie tomorrow. I'm gonna... Okay, guys, are you ready to build this airplane Lego set? Heck yeah, dude! Yeah, it has 669 pieces. I like the 69 part. <laughs> let's get started, dude. Yeah, let's build this thing. Wait, what's wrong? Yeah, what's the matter, Junior? We have to build it. Well, yeah, I mean, they're Legos. That's how Legos work. I don't want to build it. It's going to take hours. I want to play with it already built. Well, then don't buy Legos, then. They should sell Legos already built. They do. It's called toys. Well, I want to play with Legos, but built and not have to build it. It's going to take hours. Well, I mean, I have Legos at my house that I already built. You do? Yeah. Okay, let's go play with Legos at your house. Okay, come out. Let's go. Okay, guys, check out my Legos. Whoa, you built all this stuff, Cody? Yep, I built the Millennium Falcon and Baby Yoda and R2-D2. <gasps> Is that the Disney? Disney Castle, Cody! Oh yeah, that took forever to build. Oh dude, I can't lie, this is super sick! <gasps> Cody, what is that? Oh that, that's my Lego Titanic. You built this? Oh yeah, it took months. Dude, this is huge! Yeah, it is pretty big. Oh, you mean the Titanic, yeah, that's pretty big too. Cody, can we put it in my pool and see if it sinks? Well, it's gonna sink, it's made of Legos! Well, can we put it in the pool? What, no, it took me forever to build this! We gotta <laughs> see if it flows, dude! Yeah! It's not gonna float! But how do you build a Lego Titanic you don't try to reenact the crash in a pool? What? I don't wanna destroy it, this took me forever to build! Come on, Cody. No. Wait, oh, 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 sorry, guys. I gotta use the bathroom. I haven't pooped in like three days, so I'm pretty backed up. Joseph, let's grab this and put it in my pool. Oh, dude, we got to. I got this side. Oh, I got this side. Uh, careful, careful. Whoa, Joseph, this is so cool. I know, dude. It's like the real Titanic. Oh, where's that iceberg? I gotta hit it. Ooh, I'll be the iceberg. Hit me. Okay, dude. Watch out. I'm not paying attention, and I got a boat full of billionaires. Oh! <laughs> Hey, Brass, your dinner's ready! All right, we have to go inside. Let it go, Joseph. But dude, it's gonna sink! It's the unsinkable ship, Joseph. It can't sink. Oh, yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? Yeah, let's go inside. Man, Joseph, I'm so full, but I love it when Chef PB makes hot dog pizza. Oh yeah, dude, hot dog pizza's the best. Yeah, let's go outside and play with our Titanic. Oh yeah, let's see how many people drown. All right, Joseph, you ready to play with this Titanic? Yeah, dude, but where is it? We left it right here. I know, but, oh dude, look. What? It sank! Oh, I told you it was gonna sink! Well, I didn't think it was actually gonna sink. I, th I thought it was like a Lego Titanic. Dude, it's like the real Titanic! <gasps> that is really cool that it really sank. I know, right? But how are we gonna get it back before Cody notices? Uh, dive down there and get it! Okay, I'll get it. <gasps> <sighs> oh, Joseph, it's too deep. My ears started hurting from all the pressure. How are we gonna get it, dude? I don't know. We need like a submarine or something. Where are we Get summary from? Um, I got an idea. Come on. Oh, hey guys. Sorry I took so long. I was taking a mean grumpy in the toilet. What, guys? What? 
Oh, hell no! They took my Lego Titanic! Ugh, I'm so pissed off! Cody, calm down. What's wrong? Did you slam your pee-pee in the toilet seat again? Well, yes, but that's not why I'm mad. Were well, you taking the bath and you got the bar so stuck up your butt again? Yeah, but it's not that either. My friend stole my Lego Titanic. Well, I don't know what that means, but I hope you win. Yeah, I love Remember the Titans. Oh, that Denzel Washington. If I could just have one night with him. Me too. Okay. Okay, Junior, where the frick is my heckin' Lego Titanic? And don't even tell me you didn't take it, because I know your stinky little hands did. All right, dude, I think you should tell him. He's obviously serious, because he's cussing. Wait, and what's this? Hot dog pizza? You guys hot dog pizza, and you didn't invite me? Well, look, there's some hot dog left. There's a tip right there. I don't want the tip. I want the whole thing. And then I want some hot dogs. Zing! Look, if you want your Lego Titanic back so bad, why don't you go get it? What? Jenny, usually people say that before they throw something. Look, it's at the bottom of my pool. What? Because we were swimming with it. What? And it sank. What? But I'm gonna build a submarine and go get it. You don't have to build a submarine. It's in your pool. Just swim down there and get it. I tried to go do that, but it hurt my ears because of all the pressure. There can't be that much pressure. It's a pool. Uh, the pool is pretty deep, dude. Yeah, go, go get it then, Cody. It hurts my ears. Yeah, so I'm gonna build this submarine. What, you don't know how to build a submarine? Yes, I do. I'm gonna build out of carbon fiber and duct tape. Duct tape? The strongest thing known to man. Yeah, I'm gonna break some rules making this submarine. I don't want somebody breaking rules to make my submarine. Well, I'm gonna break some rules that I bet you a few billionaires would pay to ride on this thing. Look, I just want my Lego Titanic back. And the only way to get it is to build this submarine. So let me build it, and, I'll, and then you can ride in it with me. And done! Aw oh, man, it looks pretty professional to me, dude. And I didn't even have to use all the duct tape. Maybe you should have. I'm gonna call this thing Old Yellow. Old Yellow? Like the dog movie. What, you mean like Old Yeller, the movie where the dog dies? Oh man, I love that movie. We're not gonna die like the dog did because we're gonna be in this nice, safe submarine. Okay, just a couple problems, Junior. How are we gonna breathe in there? Like this. <gasps> Wait, no, Junior, I know how breathing works. You asked how we're gonna breathe in there and I showed you. Wait, no, I mean how much air are we gonna have in there? The world is full of air, Cody. We can breathe all we want. No, no, I mean idiot. Well, I mean when we seal ourselves in there and we eventually run out of air, we won't be able to breathe. We're gonna have air, Cody. We're on Earth. Earth has air. We're not gonna run out of air for like a hundred million years. No, that's not... Fine, forget that. How about this? What is this even made of? It doesn't feel very sturdy. It might implode. What's implode mean? It's the opposite of explode. So it's a good thing. No, it's a very bad thing. No, you said exploding is bad, right? So if you implode, it's the opposite of explode, so it's a good thing. Yeah, I wanna get my implode on. Let's implode, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I hope we implode. No, no, we don't want to implode. It's, it's like we're, it caves in on itself. We're not going to cave in, Cody. We're not going in the caves. We're going underwater. Duh. Wait, no, no, no. It's like, it's like it, it, it crumples. It, it crushes. Like the, the name of the turtle from Finding Nemo? Wait, no, that's Crush. No, no, guys, guys. Uh, I, I think I know how to explain this. Guys, get in here. Cody, what are you doing? Uh, dude, that's a fire hazard. Yeah, you can't cook a can of Sprite, Cody. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to show you what an implosion is, okay? Now, just imagine this Sprite can is the submarine, and this is what's going to happen to us if we go too deep in the pool and the pressure gets to be too bad, okay? Watch. See? What, what just happened? It imploded. What? No, you said imploding was a, the opposite of explosion. That's a can of Sprite that just crushed Cody. Yeah, we wouldn't even fit in that, dude. Yeah, there's no way we could fit in that. What? No, no, this is what the submarine's gonna do. No, my submarine is not a can of Sprite, Cody. It can't just crush like that. Yeah, it's ten times the size of that, dude. What? No, but this is what's gonna happen, though. What? No, it's not, Cody, because we're not gonna put the submarine on the stove and then a plate. I don't know what the hell you're doing, Cody. You put drinks in the refrigerator, idiot. And if you wanted to crush a can, you could have just stepped on it. You didn't have to do all this nerd crap. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Fine, let's just try it. It's a pool. It can't go that wrong. Yeah, because I don't know what you're doing trying to cook cans of Sprite. Are you okay? I don't understand what the whole point of that was, Cody, but are you at least going to go eat the can of Sprite you cooked? Junior, I wasn't going to eat it. It was a science experiment. I mean, it's well done now. Yeah, it's ready to eat, Cody. But no, it was just to show you what's going to happen to us when we go down into the pool. Cody, this submarine is made out of duct tape. That can of Sprite is made out of aluminum. But why are you saying it like you're British? I did not say duct tape. I said duct tape in an American accent, Cody. Okay, fine, Junior. What's your plan? So, we're going to go inside this and we're going to drive down to the Titanic. Wait, drive? Yeah, it has this controller that controls it. That looks like a toy controller. Yeah, but it controls it. All it does is go up and down, and we go down there and we grab your Titanic. Oh, man, that looks fun. I wish I was going. Yeah, so me and you are going to get inside, and Joseph's going to duct tape us closed. Wait, duct tape us closed? How are we going to get out? We're not. The only way we get out is if Joseph takes the duct tape off when we get back. But what if there's an emergency and we need to get out down there? If there's an emergency, we're going to die anyway. So come on, Cody. Mm. Let's go. Okay. Joseph, duct tape is closed. I got you, bro.
All right, dude, I duct taped you in there. Get nice and comfy. There's no way out. All right, Cody, are you ready to go save the Titanic? That you sank? It wouldn't have sank if you had been playing with us because you would have watched it and it wouldn't have sank. Junior, I'm getting claustrophobic in here. Look, it's only going to take a few minutes. All right, Joseph, take us to the pool and drop us in there. All right, you got it, bro. <laughs> All right, Cody, we're at the bottom of my pool. And look, there's your Lego Titanic. Great, grab it. Okay, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, shit. What? I forgot to add a mechanical arm to grab stuff. What, what do you mean you forgot the arm? I just didn't think to add an arm. I just thought we had to go underwater to look at it. To look at it? Junior, we could have done that from the surface. Okay, look, we're just gonna go back up. I'm gonna add an arm and we'll come back down. Okay. Oh, shit. What now? I didn't add an engine to, you know, move it. What, Junior, are you kidding me? You're telling me we're trapped at the bottom of this pool, duct taped shut with no way out? Yeah. What, Junior, God damn it, we're gonna die down here. We're not gonna die. Look, we can sit down and just relax and breathe. We can't breathe, Junior. We're gonna run out of air. We're not gonna run out of air. The world's full of air. Shut the fuck up, Junior. What I mean is we breathe oxygen. We breathe out carbon dioxide. Eventually, the oxygen is gonna run out and we're gonna die. Okay, look, listen, then I'll just hold my breath. What? <gasps> Junior, you don't have to hold your breath. <laughs> Junior, now you're wasting even more air. Okay, look, I'm sorry. How about I just call Joseph and tell him to come get us? Yes, do that. Okay, let me grab my phone. All right, Cody, it's ringing. Hey, dude, did you get the Titanic? Well, I didn't add a robotic arm to grab it. Oh, man, that would have been sick. Yeah, so I need you to come down here and grab us because we're stuck. Wait, wait, it's too deep, dude. You know my ears are buzz. Oh, yeah, the pressure. Well, can you at least call the cops and tell them to come help us? Oh, uh, dude, I guess so. I'll call the cops. All right. He's gonna call the cops because it's, he can't come get us. Great. Okay, so what's going on? My friends are stuck in the submarine down by the Titanic. Okay, I have so many questions. Why is there a Lego Titanic at the bottom of this pool? Because it's sank. Oh, well, naturally. Okay, but why are they in a submarine? Because they were trying to rescue the Titanic. Well, that's stupid. Well, why don't you just tell them to get out and swim up? Uh, they can't because I duct taped it closed from the outside. Oh, so they are trapped in there. Yeah. Uh, how much oxygen do they have? Like a couple minutes. Minutes? Um, okay, I think I have an idea. <sighs> Junior, I'm getting lightheaded. I think that means we're running out of oxygen. Cody, if we die, I hope I'm remembered as an innovator, someone who broke the rules. Junior, you're gonna be remembered as an idiot, and I'll be remembered as an idiot too for listening to you. Oh, cheer up, Cody. I got a funny joke for you. What do you call a dog on a submarine? What? A subwoofer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just a low oxygen or if that was just funny as fuck. Oh, uh, uh, Cody, I've been holding in a fart for a while. That hot dog pizza's not settling well. Junior, don't. We only have a little bit of oxygen left and I don't want to die breathing your ass fumes. Wait, actually, I think that's exactly how I want to die. Let it rip. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. So what's your plan to save them? Save them? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Well, wait, you're not going to rescue them? No, man, they're not billionaires. We're not spending taxpayer money to save these kids. I need something that'll make the news. You gotta save them. My friends are going to die. Look, I didn't make them get in that shitty submarine. Come on, please. You need to rescue them. Hey, don't make me arrest you. You're getting a little rowdy. W what? Uh, you know what? I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> hmm. I like this couch. Is this a new couch? This is a new couch. Wow, that Grimace video really messed up the old one. <laughs> oh, Cody, you're throwing up all inside the submarine. Oh, God, Junior, you know that fart smelled so bad. It was a fart, Cody. I don't know. I just thought I was going to like it. I don't know what I was thinking. It would have thrown up everywhere. Oh, God, get us out of here. Somebody help us. Help. 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 Oh, God, it Help us. Ugh, just about to go surfing in this pool. Whoa, wait. Is that the Lego Titanic? Cool. Wait, is that a submarine? And there are people in there. Oh my god. My lifeguard senses are tingling. I can hear them calling for help with my sonar hearing. I'm coming, bros! Uh, uh, I saved you guys, but I broke my teeth. I hit my mouth on your little glass thing. Oh, I'm really glad that surfer guy came along and saved us. Yeah, I feel bad about his teeth. Oh, hey, officer. Oh, hey. Hey, did you kids hear about those two stupid kids that are trapped at the bottom of a pool in a little submarine? <laughs> yeah, they're probably going to die. What a bunch of dumbasses. Yeah, one of their friends told me to go get help, but, I mean, they're not billionaires. Why would I even bother? That was us. Huh? We were the two kids trapped in the submarine. Oh, oh, that was, that was you. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, I know. I, 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 uh, I called the president, and he sent uh, the Coast Guard and the Navy and the Air Force for some reason, and the Marines, and SEAL Team 6, so that, that's probably who saved you. No, it was a random surfer. That was Aquaman. Uh, yeah, that was Aquaman. I, I sent him down there. That, that's why I'm celebrating with this beer, because I knew he was going to save you.
Oh, well, I sure learned my lesson. I learned to never build a submarine myself and try to go see the Titanic. Yeah, don't, don't do that again. And sorry we didn't get your Titanic, Cody. It's gonna just stay down there, I guess. That's okay. I guess that's just gonna have to be its final resting place. Yeah. Well, look on the bright side, kids. At least you guys didn't pay for that experience. Yeah. This is a new couch, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good upholstery. I like it. It's firm. I was just gonna chill here. Jeffy, you've been doing that for 12 hours straight. We didn't sleep at all last night, Jeffy. Please stop. But Danny, if I stop, then who's gonna do it? Exactly. Okay, that's it. Jeffy, I will give you $100 to go shopping, go buy whatever you want. Oh, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Ha ha, I got my way. Okay, now we can finally go to sleep. Thank God. Oh, what's that? It sounds like a lawnmower. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go have a talk with that guy. Hey, howdy, neighbor. Hey, can you turn this off? I can't hear you over the sound of my lawnmower. Turn it off. What can I do for you, neighbor? Listen, I didn't get any sleep last night. I'm trying to take a nap, and your lawnmower is just so goddamn loud. So can you please just not mow your lawn today? No can do, neighbor. See, I've won yard of the year for 10 years in a row. I'm trying to go for 11, what? and nothing's gonna stop me from doing that. Yard of the year? Yep. Well, I see a straggler. There you are, you little rascal. Gotcha. What, what are you doing? Every blade of grass in my yard has to be exactly 2.75 inches, or else I might not win Yard of the Year. Wait, what is this Yard of the Year you keep talking about? Every year the HOA holds an annual Yard of the Year meeting, and I've won the past 10 years, and I have the trophies to prove it. You want to see them? Not really. Oh, come on, let's go see them. <sighs> Honey, I'm home, and I brought company. Oh, good, I just baked some cookies. Careful now, they're hot. Oh, honey, these cookies look sweet, but not as sweet as you are. Keep that up, mister. You're going to earn yourself a kiss. Well, what do I have to do for two? Come here, sweetheart. Okay. You have to try my wife's cookies. They're to die for. And by die for, I mean from the diabetes. <laughs> I also made a charcuterie board. Oh, you have to try my wife's charcuterie board. It's totally worth the high cholesterol. Oh, Hank, stop it. What'd you say your name was? The name's Hank Huckerdoo, and this is my wife, Suzanne Huckerdoo. And we have two beautiful Huckerdoo children. We sure Huckerdoo. <laughs> oh, kids, get down here. You called me, Father? Did you need something, Mother? Kids, we have company, and you didn't come downstairs and introduce yourselves. That is a hucker don't. So, no TV for a week. Aw, oh, shoot. My apologies, Father. I agree with you entirely, and that punishment is justified. And you know you kids are supposed to be practicing your voice lessons on here, which you've been working on. All right, Susie, like we practiced. A one and a two and a one, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round. round The wheels on the bus go round and round. All three. How was that, Father? A thousand dollars a week in voice lessons, and that's the effort you give me. You take your asses upstairs and keep practicing. You're never gonna get on American Idol singing like that. I hate my life. I hate it here. You take your tan ass to the room. <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Just a little bit of family bickering. Uh, should I leave? Oh, nonsense. Let me show you my trophies. Uh, there they are, Marvin. All ten of my first place best lawn trophies. Wow, that's a lot of trophies. Yep, there's ten of them. I count them every single day. And I'm hoping to get number 11 today. Wait, the contest ends today? Yep, and hopefully one day you'll be able to get a trophy in another lifetime. Oh, honey, you scared me. Time for you to lick the bar so, honey, you committed a huck and don't. What huck or don't did I commit? You broke the first one. A huck and don't be a potty mouth. Oh, I guess I did. All right, give me a lick. Wait, wait, well, what is this? Those are the hucker do's and don'ts of the hucker do household. You do want to be a hucker do, and you don't want to be a hucker don't. For example, you do want to do your homework, and you do want to do your chores, but you don't want to be a cheater, and you don't want to be a sore loser. You got it? Uh, yeah, listen, I'm gonna go work on my yard for the competition. Your yard? Well, let's go have a look, shall we? Uh.
Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. You see this? This is dead grass. Somebody call the coroner's office. <laughs> my grass isn't that dead. Well, you see my yard? It's bright green and voluptuous. Yours is dead and, pardon my French, ass. I might have to report you to the HOA because this is an eyesore to the neighborhood. But I wouldn't do that to you, neighbor. <sighs> I'm gonna go finish cutting my grass. Oh, my, my grass is an ass. <sighs> Marvin, you couldn't get them to stop mowing their lawn? No. Baby, is our grass ass? What are you talking about? The Hucker Dews have the best grass in the neighborhood. Who are the Hucker Dews? The neighbors, and they said our grass is ass. Our grass isn't ass, it's just grass. Well, the Hucker Dews have won best lawn 10 years in a row. Marvin, no one cares that much about grass. Besides, there's more important things to worry about. Look, here, I found some earplugs. Let's put them in and take a nap. Well, I want to hire someone to fix our grass. Marvin, you just gave Jeffy $100. We can't afford that. Well, the Hucker Dews have bright green grass, and our grass is all dead. I want to call a grass master or someone who works on grass to fix our grass. Ugh. Hey there, somebody call a landscaper? Yeah, my grass is kind of dead. Yeah, I can see that. Is there any way you could make it green? Oh, yeah, sure. I could put some fertilizer on it, water it for a bit. That'd make it pretty green. Well, how long is that going to take? Yeah, probably a couple months. I don't have a couple months. I need it green by this afternoon. This afternoon? Afternoon. That's not happening, man. This grass is dead. So you can't make my grass greener than that, guys? Holy shit! That's the most beautiful yard I've ever seen! His grass is so green, it's greener than Greenland! Well, it's greener than Iceland. See, Iceland's actually the green one. See, what happened was Eric the Red, he was a Viking, and he got kicked out of Iceland, and he went to go live over in Greenland. So he told people that it was green and grassy, even though it's all icy and shitty. And then when they got there, it was all snow, and they were pretty pissed off, but they had to live there anyway. So, I mean, I get why they called it that then, to trick people, but it seems like they could change it now. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go over there and talk to him about his grass, because his grass seems great. Enjoy your dead grass. Oh, oh come on. <sighs> all done. I think she's ready for the competition. Hey, I love your grass. Thank you. It's nice to meet another grass connoisseur like myself. What is this, the Goya grass? It's lovely. St. Augustine. Oh, of course, of course. I should have known. Hey, you see that guy's dead grass over there? Yeah. Let's point at his dead grass and laugh at him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Dead grass. You should check that grass's pulse. Which it, we wouldn't have one, because it's grass, and also because it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead grass. Someone needs to get a defibrillator on that grass. <laughs> <laughs> dead grass. Hey, well, my grass is going to be better than your grass. <sighs> Marvin, you got them to stop mowing their lawn? Baby, I just got laughed at by two grown men about my grass. I thought you said you were going to hire someone to help. That's who laughed at me. Oh. Well, Marvin, now that it's quiet, let's take a nap. I just want my grass to be green. Hey, Dolly, I spent all that money you gave me at Burger King on a bunch of food, so now I need more money. See, Marvin, we should have taken a nap before Jeffy got home. Jeffy, stop it! Huh. Listen, Jeffy, I'm tired, I'm upset, and my grass will never be green. You want green grass, Daddy? Yeah, but it's impossible to have it green by the end of the day. Well, I think I can help with that. What? No, Jeffy, don't touch my grass. I'll make my daddy's grass green. And done. Daddy's gonna love this. Ooh, baby, look. Look how green that grass is. Yes, Marvin, it's very green. I don't care. Oh, and look how green that grass is. Ooh. Daddy, I have a surprise for you. Are you gonna be quiet so we can go to sleep? Never. Ugh. Daddy, close your eyes, turn around, and walk backwards outside. Are you gonna shoot me in the head? Because that would be really nice. No. Come on, Daddy. All right, Daddy, turn around. What? Surprise! Jeffy, how'd you get my grass green? Spray paint. You, you spray painted my grass, Jeffy! Well, there was no other way to get the grass this green before this afternoon. I mean, you don't like it? Yeah, Jeffy, it actually is really green, even if it is spray paint. It's greener than the Hucker Dude's grass. You, we may actually win the contest. Hello and welcome to the Neighborhood Best Lawn Competition. I'm here with 10-time back-to-back champion Hank Huckadoo. Nice teeth, Hank. Thanks, Steve. Hank, I gotta say, your grass is even greener than it was last year. Guilty is charged on the grass. <laughs> well, Hank, here's your trophy for best lawn since nobody else even tried. Thanks, Steve. Finally, I've won 11 years in a row. <sighs> oh my god, give me that. What? That grass over there is green as shit. What? Good golly, this is the greenest grass I've ever seen! Wait, really? Yeah, I'm gonna give you this trophy for best lawn! I won? Yes, how do you get your grass this green? Uh, well, I, I love to water it, and I also feed it grass food. No, wait just a darn rootin' tootin' second. I say he cheated! Now, Hank, don't be a sore loser. But he did cheat! There's spray paint right here! Spray paint? Well, I didn't spray paint the grass. I'll do a smell test. 
Oh, I'm high as shit! This has definitely been spray painted! Give me that trophy back! What? You're disqualified! Cheating is against the rules! You use performance enhancing grass! What? Here you go, Hank. I'm sorry I even doubted you. Thanks, Steve. I should have noticed he didn't even spray paint his whole yard. What? You're disqualified. Oh. Howdy, Marvin! Looky here! I'm gonna bang my wife on top of my first place lawn trophy! Oh, Suzanne! Yes, honey? Lay on top of my trophy! Oh, like we did last year? Exactly! <laughs> oh, my! <sighs> I guess I'll never win the best lawn award. Hey there! Me and the HOA talked about it, and we decided you do deserve one trophy. <gasps> Second place? No! The worst lawn trophy! We all shit in it! We hope you rot in hell, you cheating bastard! <sighs> Ew! Marvin, what is that? It's the worst lawn award. What? We don't have the worst lawn. Baby, our lawn is covered in spray paint. Who would do that? Right here. Guilty as charged. Jeffy spray painted our grass green to make it greener. Well, at least Jeffy tried to help. Thank you, Mommy. At least someone around here appreciates my efforts. Well, Marvin, I guess the grass isn't always greener on the other side. It is greener on the other side. The Huckerdoo's lawn is so green. You know what, Marvin? Take me over there. I want to meet these hucker dudes so I can know who you're talking about. Oh, no, baby. You're never going to meet them. They're the worst kind of people. You should never meet the hucker dudes. Oh, okay. Well, with that being said, I need more money. Hey, guy. Check out my new toy. Look what it can do. That's my face. That's really cool, Jeffy. And that's my ear. Awesome. That's a really cool toy, Marvin. Yeah. And hey, look at this. What? Jeffy, ew, don't put your thing in that. What, Danny? It was just an upside down piece of broccoli made out of Play-Doh. Oh, I I thought it I thought it was something else. Uh, Jeffy, go, go play somewhere else. All right, Danny. What did you think it was, Marvin? I don't want to talk about it. All right, Junior, check out my new toy. Whoa, what's it do? Well, Junior, can you get your cat out of the way? No, she's fine. Okay. Well, you just stomp on that pad right there and it launches the rocket. Ooh, can I try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Whoa, it went so high in the air! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so what I need you to do now is stomp on that pad again. But then it's gonna go up your- Yeah, I know. Do it. Okay. Hey guys, what doing? Uh, Jeffy, stomp on that pad right there, please. Okay! Ooh, it was supposed to go deeper, but that's okay. Oh, Cody, what if we did this outside? I think it'll feel the same for me either way. No, like, what if you don't get in the way and it goes all the way up in the night sky? Oh, well, I guess we could try that. Yeah, let's take it outside, guys! Alright. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see how high this thing can go. Maybe it can go to the moon. Oh, that'd be so cool, but it's really dark outside. I wish it could light up. Oh, don't worry, Junior. Check this ish out. It can light up? Yeah, I did that so the doctors could find it in case it got lost in my colon. All right, Jeffy, you stomp on that thing as hard as you can. All right, Junior. Uh, did we just hit something? I think it popped whatever it hit. Uh, oh, no, guys, we hit a hot air balloon. Oh, no. Oh, we just killed someone. Yeah. Oh, my side. Ah! Uh, can we sit on the red couch and you guys leave? Oh, um, okay. Guys, we just shot down a hot air balloon! But who would be flying a hot air balloon at night? Planes couldn't see it. I don't know, they're probably going on a joyride because they didn't think someone's going to be shooting random rockets in the air. We could have killed someone. Uh, let's just check the news! Breaking news, okay? An unidentified flying object was shot out of the sky by a random missile from an unknown location. The military is looking into the situation now. Guys, did you hear that? Unidentified flying object? We shot down a UFO? What if we shot down aliens? Aliens finally come to Earth and we kill them? My god, what have we done? Lieutenant Gary, get your hairy ass in here. You've seen it, sir? We all have. We all shower together. Now tell me what the hell's going on in the skies over Florida. Well, sir, it looks like a Chinese spy balloon was shot down by an unidentified missile. Was the missile one of ours? No, sir. Satellite surveillance shows that it might have been three kids goofing around. Well, how did three kids get their hands on a missile? I don't know, sir, but we do sell to some pretty shady people. Well, how did these kids find the balloon and we didn't? I don't know, sir. The balloon didn't show up on our radar, so we're lucky the kids found it at all. Now you listen to me. You get those three kids and bring them here because America needs them. Yes, sir. <coughs> Junior, what are you doing? Writing an apology letter to the aliens and I'm gonna go outside and let the balloon go with the letter attached to it so it can go to their planet. Junior, this balloon's not just gonna go to space. Yes, it is, Cody. When you let go of a balloon, it keeps going up until it hits space. No, balloons just keep going up until they pop. Well, 
they don't pop unless they hit a sharp object. I don't think there's random needles flying around in the sky or space. What? No, this is... Okay, fine, Junior. Even if it goes to space, how's it gonna get to their planet? When the aliens see a balloon floating in space, they're gonna grab it. No one can say no to a balloon. And what makes you think they even speak English? Of course the aliens can speak English. If they can make a UFO that can go the speed of light to go to our planet, then they obviously can decode this message. Yeah, the frowny face is really gonna help. All right, guys, let's go outside and, and release the balloon. Junior, this balloon doesn't even have helium in it. It's just somebody holding it. What? No, it has helium in See? We couldn't afford helium, Cody. There's a helium shortage, and and we didn't think of this part of the video. Let's, let's just... Okay, so apparently the kids live here. Hmm. I don't want to scare them when they open the door and see a big old army man. Oh, I know. I'll put on this alien mask. That'll make me seem all friendly and fun. Guys, there's someone at the door. What if it's more aliens? They're mad that we killed their friends. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go open the door, and I'm gonna hand them the letter. No, 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 Junior. If it is the aliens, and they're mad at us for killing their friends, we can't just open the door. You're right. They're gonna try to kill us. So we gotta kill them. How? Uh, I got an idea. Grab your rocket. <sighs> All right, I'm grabbing it. No, like, grab your rocket! Oh, I got a handful of rocket. My crotch rocket. No, the rocket toy! I know, I know. Oh, come on! <gasps> Guys, it is an alien! All right, all right, when I open the door, Jeffy, you shoot the rocket at him, okay? All right, got it, Junior. Okay. Hello? Hey there! <clears throat> what, why'd you duck? My balls are in the nuts! You're not gonna kill me, alien scum! Get off me! Get off me! Alright, guys, what do we do with this alien? I think we should put stuff up his butt and probe him. Or we could let him do it to us. No, don't touch my butt, I'm not an alien! Says the alien. I know what to do with him! Move out of my way! Ow, what the hell was that for? Yeah, he's an alien. I'm not an alien! Then why do you look like that? This is just a mask I bought at Party City! Oh, that's just a mask? Yes! So you wouldn't mind if I took it off? No, go ahead! Wait, Junior, don't touch it! What if his antenna are like jellyfish tentacles and they sting you? Good thinking, Cody, you just saved my life! They're not like jellyfish tentacles, this is a normal mask! Before we try to take off that mask, prove you're a human. Okay, how? Ooh, I think we should check his butthole and see if he has a human butthole. Yeah, every human's butthole is the same! No, don't touch my butthole! Why? Because you have three alien buttholes? You don't want us to see it? What? No, I have one human butthole! I just don't want you touching it. Take the damn mask off. Okay, I'm gonna take it off, Cody, but if I get electrocuted, you beat him up, okay? Okay. <sighs> See? See, I'm not an alien. I'm human. I'm with the U.S. military. Now untie me. Okay, I'll untie you. Wait, Junior. What if he's an alien, but he just looks like he's with the military? I think we should check his butthole. If you touch my butthole, I swear to God, I'll send your whole family to Guantanamo Bay. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll untie him. Okay, now that you boys finally untied me, we can do business. So why are you here? Well, do you boys remember shooting something down earlier? Uh, yeah, are we in trouble? We were really scared. Oh no, boys, that was a Chinese spy balloon that even our radar couldn't detect. Really? Yeah, now the Commander-in-Chief wants to give you all medals of honor for your bravery. That's so cool! But boys, I just gotta ask, how did you even manage to see it? Oh, we didn't even really mean to shoot it down. Uh, yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Y yes, we did! Wait, hold on, I'm confused. Did you mean to shoot it down or not? Because you're only getting the medal if you meant to shoot down the spy balloon. No, we didn't mean to shoot it down. Yeah, 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 yes, we meant to shoot it down. We we walked outside and we saw the balloon. It said "Made in China," and we said "America, America." And we said we're shooting that bad boy down. So we got our rocket and we knocked it out of the sky. And we said we did that for America. Wow, boys, that is incredible. Okay, come on, let's go get your medals, Junior. What the hell are you doing? I want that medal, Cody. A medal of honor, sick. Come on. Here are the kids, sir. You boys are American heroes for stopping that spy balloon. Thank you, sir. I'd like to award all three of you the Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Guy, go get the medals. All right, kid, here is your Medal of Honor. Oh, oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. That's the Medal of Ogre. It has Shrek on it. I got this for doing a 5K at Universal Studios. Are, are you impressed? Oh, hold on. No, I got it. I got it right here. Hold on. It, here is your Medal of Honor. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This is a medal I won for having the hairiest arms on a Disney cruise. Sorry. Hold on. I got it over here. It's over. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Here is your Medal of Honor. Okay. Let's, let's put that on you. Let's get... No. Hold on. Get it, get it around your neck. Around your neck there. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? You two, uh, just, just help yourselves. Enjoy your medals, kids! These medals are so cool! But that's not all. Since you boys are so good at shooting down that spy balloon and finding threats that even we can't, we're making you three our new official missile defense system. You boys will be in charge of shooting down nukes, missiles, or any other kinds of airborne threats to the United States. Lieutenant Guy, go fire everyone at NORAD. You got it, sir. Huh, won't be needing them anymore. We have professionals now. Now get out there and kill it, boys! Junior, we are so screwed! What are you talking about, Cody? We all got the Medal of Honor. We got jobs with the military. We're 
badasses. Junior, I don't think you understand. They want us to shoot down nukes and planes and missiles just because we accidentally shot down a balloon. Cody, everyone has a calling in life, and our calling is to protect America, and that's what we're gonna do. Junior, we don't have the technology to protect America. We have your missile toy. That's not enough. We need, like, satellites and missiles and stuff. Listen, Cody, America's the most badass country in the planet. No one messes with us. When they mess with America, they die. So look, we don't have anything to worry about. No one's gonna try to nuke us. No one's gonna try to bomb us. All we have to do is sit back, show girls our Medal of Honor, and eat Tough Muff. Hell yeah. Junior, there's not gonna be any Tough Muff left to eat if we get nuked. Cody, we're gonna have 24-hour surveillance. And how are we gonna do that? You're gonna stand outside for 24 hours and look at the sky, and if you see any missiles, you tell us. What does Jeffy do? He shoots the rocket at the missile and shoots it down. And I'm also gonna let girls use my tongue as toilet paper. Okay, and what are you gonna do, Junior? I'm also gonna let that happen, and I'm gonna be the person that alerts the news when we shoot something down, and I take all the credit, and I get all the muff. So you want me to just stand in your front yard and stare at the sky 24 hours a day? It's your job to protect America, so go out there, Cody. No one's gonna try to bomb us. <laughs> the news! Breaking news, okay? The Commander-in-Chief has an announcement to make. Here's a statement from him now. My fellow Americans, earlier today the Chinese sent a balloon to try to spy on us and three brave soldiers shot it down. Since these three soldiers are so good at finding threats, I've decided to make those three boys the new missile defense program. We've canceled NORAD and turned off all our satellites because we don't need them. With that being said, I have one thing to say to the Chinese. Fuck around and find out! Throw everything you got at us, pussies! We ain't paying that debt back! Oh, we are so dead. No, we're not, Cody. Isn't it really cool the Commander-in-Chief believe in us that much? No, no, he shouldn't believe in us at all! Listen, Cody, no one's gonna bomb us or try to kill us. Do you know your phone is ringing? Well, hold on. Hello? Hello. Who's this? This is the Chinese. <gasps> Who is it, Junior? It's the Chinese. What? Well, how'd you get my number? I got it from TikTok. Well, what do you want? You popped our balloon, and then you talk shit about us on TV. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you going to do about it? Bomb Pearl Harbor again? That was the Japanese. Well, what are you going to do about it? Take one of our WNBA players? That was Russia. Well, what are you going to do about it? We're going to drop nuke on your stupid, dumb American asses. <laughs> What did he say, Junior? He said, we cool, dog." Really? He said that? He said, we good, food. What? Listen, Cody, just go outside and scan the skies for nukes. Wait, why? Because that's our job, Cody. Go outside and look at the sky. Well, how the hell am I supposed to scan the sky? I don't have a telescope. I bought you a telescope. Wait, really? You did? What? Junior, this isn't a telescope. This is a toilet paper roll. I can't see anything with this. So you need something bigger? Yes, like a telescope. What? This is a paper towel roll. It's not better. It can see really far, Cody. Just go outside and look with it. I'll try. All right, Jeffy, I need you to make like a bomb shelter, like a bomb bunker, so go grab as many pills as you can. All right, Captain. Oh, we're getting nuked. <sighs> How am I supposed to find anything looking through this? Yeah, that's a whole lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of paper towel roll. Wait, wait what is that? Oh, no. Oh, no, is that what I think it is? Junior! Junior, get out here! <gasps> What's wrong, Cody? Jun Junior, look, look. Do you, do you see that? Uh, that... That looks like it could be a nuke. Junior, it's a nuke! What are we gonna do? Jeffy! Jeffy, get, get the missile out of the missile defense system! I got it, Junior! Alright, Jeffy, shoot that nuke out of the sky. Shit. Uh, okay, go to the bunkers! What, bunkers? Everyone in their bunkers! Go, 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 go! Junior, you already had these pre-made? You knew about this? Yes, I knew they were gonna shoot a nuke, but I thought we could shoot it down! Junior, I told you we can't! We're just kids! Listen, we're safe inside our bunkers. We're gonna survive. No, we're not, Junior! This bunker's made of pillows! That won't stop a nuke! The pillows are made out of Kevlar! No, they're not! Wh what? The news! Breaking news, okay? A nuclear ballistic missile has hit San Francisco. The death toll is in the millions. We believe it was shot by the Chinese. Junior, we just got everyone in San Francisco killed. Well, at least the nuke didn't hit here, right? Hey, uh, could you boys come with me? You have a better bunker? No, come on. Here they are, sir. You boys don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? No. Hmm. And shooting down that balloon was an accident, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go my bad on hiring you boys in the first place. Hiring three children to defend the entire United States seems like kind of a bad idea. Lieutenant Guy, go rehire NORAD and turn all our satellites back on. Then give China an apology and send them a box of chocolates and tell them to double our debt or some shit. I don't know. You got it, sir. Two million lives you boys cost us. Two million American lives. Turn in your medals of honor and get the hell out of here. But what about the muff? You boys killed a lot of muff today. Now turn in those medals. Hmm. We lost our medals. We didn't deserve them in the first place. 
So guys, what do you want to do tonight? I think tonight's done. I don't think we need to do anything else tonight. I think this is the worst thing we've ever done. 